Here we go again. Back with more Tour de France 2016 and State 18. The second time trial and a bit of a mountain time trial here in the Tour de France. It starts flat and thrift pretty much the first 4-5 kilometers, then a really steep section up to the first time checkpoint. Then a kind of 5-7% to the second checkpoint. Little steep section again here up to the top, then downhill before a flat last kilom kilometer. Uh, kind of a difficult stage to uh, drive as a time trial rider because you don't really know when you have to go 70%, when you have to go 80 when you have to go 60%. It's very difficult, so I'll uh, get into stage here and hopefully be in good shape so we can get a good time here. Okay, so now Pinot is on the start run. actually done pretty well so far. Morbito is in the lead right now. Of course, there's still like 20, 30 riders still to pass through the finish line. So we'll probably drop out of the top 20 once we get to the end of this. But it is pretty interesting that he's so far up in the standings. I will try something with Bagilia at 75 here to the beginning. And then if I have any, any left here after the second checkpoint, we might put up to 80 and 85. Depends on, of course, how we're going. Plus one is not bad. Of course, we have Nibali ahead of us and Fabiara around behind us. We are in a little Astana sandwich here. Then Martin starting ahead of Nibali. And then Roy Costa, Rodriguez has gone over. None of them have actually, I think, beaten... Not even Roberta have beaten uh, Van Garden's time. I think Van Garden, yeah, Van Garden just beat my time. Sakai and Mike has gone through as well. Now everyone is on start brand, of course, Contour, Quintana, Froome, Aru, and then I'm in fifth right now, overall, in the standings. So let's see what we can do here with that. Will probably be a very tricky finish here. I think I can put up to 80 here. Nibali in second right now, Pinot, I think I'll come in fifth. First, actually, only six in ahead of, ahead of Nibali, I'll probably be beaten by both Contador, Quintana and Froome. Maybe even Aru as well, let's see his time. Nine, actually, 19 seconds after me. Froome is fast. Yeah, one, um, 11 seconds after Froome, let's see what Quintana. Quintana is slower than Froome, I think. And I think it's a bit faster than Quintana. Let's follow uh, Quintana here. He's 24 seconds after Froome, Contador is 9 seconds after Froome. So I'm third right now at the first checkpoint. I can't check. Change it up here. I decided to try the death climb as well. This button don't for some reason doesn't work for me. Okay, nearing the second check point now. Met Pinot. Nibali goes through here in new first place. Catching up really fast with Dan Martin now. I think Nibali is really utilizing his pace here at the flat of more flat sections. Now I'm 18 seconds after him uh, before I was seven seconds ahead of him. I think Aro has caught up with me as well. Actually, no, I'm still ahead of Aro. We haven't really it's caught up a bit with me. I think Fro Froome is going so fast. I'm 46 seconds after Froome. Little sprint up here in the last few meters here uphill. I should have probably put it up to 85 in the flat section. I think I could have handled that. I had a lot of energy left anyway. Almost have too much in the left at this point. I, I actually do have too much in the left at this point. Nibali comes in here. New first place. Pino sprints his way across the finish line here. Actually beating out Nibali by just two seconds. So I, I had a good final set. I knew I had in the left to do that as well. I will beat Aura as well. Froome will beat me. Uh, I don't think Quintana will beat me. But Contador will beat me as well. So I'll probably finish, end up finishing third here. Aru comes in seventh. Froome new first by beating me by only 31 seconds. Contador will probably come second, and Quintana will come somewhere around 5th, 6th place, let's see. 5th place, and it ends up 6th because Contador takes second, just 10 seconds ahead of me. Good state to me, I gained time on Quintana, and didn't lose that much time on everybody else. So, I'll consider this a success. So after losing states yesterday for Froome in the mountain states in Switzerland, he gains it back again and some more. Putting him now, I think, back in the leader's jersey. Actually, no. Froome still four seconds behind with two mountain states to go. This is lining up to be a very thrilling conclusion to this Tour de France. Of course, uh, I am right now three seconds ahead of Nibali. I gained one more second. Uh, two more seconds today. I was only one second ahead of him before. Yeah, that makes sense because I started behind Nibali. So that makes sense that I was ahead of him before. 
Our root drops back to 6th from 4th, so I've jumped one space in standings, but I still a lot of uh, ground to go if I had to beat Quintana, who has a lot of better monsters than me. But that's it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you tomorrow for Stage 19 and other mountain states in the Tour de France. Goodbye.